Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in West Beka, Lebanon, uh, known for its fertile valley. And today we are at a restaurant that's called Taulet Ami, which is, it's a, it's a community effort where uh, women, especially women, come from around the village, around the surrounding area in West Beka, come here and cook their special dishes. So this is gonna be an amazing meal and just a day of relaxing in Lebanon. Good morning, Camel. Morning, Mark. Yep, you look so cool. Like you're in the silhouette, then with the, the lush, <laughs> fertile valley below. Exactly. We're just chilling. <laughs> and then for a little bit of shade, you can sit under the trees. The weather is actually perfect under the trees with the, the wind blowing, the breeze. Uh, but what's cool about this place is that it's really community driven and then they all come to a gathering place, to this restaurant to be able to prepare it, to be able to serve it, to be able to uh, share it. And this is a, an amazing idea, an amazing concept, um, especially for everyone that comes here to then be able to enjoy the food in this beautiful location as well, like, like us. Yeah, what a view, what a setting with coffee. Coffee is just mandatory. Oh, this is just wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna go, Micah's playing on the playground down below with the view over the valley. I'm gonna go check out the play, let's go check out the playground. So they have this entire section that's shaded, uh, and then they have chairs overlooking the entire valley, but if you come down the steps, you can come to this entire little deck of grass. Uh, they have chairs again in the sun, they have mats, you can even lay down and relax. And again, just soak up the sunshine, enjoy the views. Let's see, how do we get to the playground? Okay, I think right here. Hello, Micah. Whoa. <laughs> a whole swing set, a whole uh, slide, various jungle gyms, the jungle, um, what are those things called? Monkey bars, that's what we call them, monkey bars. Right. And again, you even have a closer view of the valley. You can see the valley is fertile. This is the, the bread basket, the vegetable basket of Lebanon. A lot of the crops, a lot of the food is grown here. It's really a beautiful place. Even though it's like, it's kind of dry, it's a little bit barren, but it's beautiful in its own way. into the kitchen. We're gonna see some of the ladies as they cook their dishes. Uh, put on the, oh man, it's so hard to put on one, one of these with one hand. I'm gonna have to use the camera to hold it. Okay, got it. Oh, right out of the, oh. Kibaneya, nice. Kafta nut. Oh, kafta. My bad, that was not kibaneya, that was raw kafta, which is sausage. And it's a really nice, really big open kitchen, spacious, so clean. This roasted cauliflower smells amazing. It's all gonna be buffet style, so they're preparing all the dishes in big quantities, all buffet. Tomato, onion, garlic, and tomato paste. Yeah, free. There's kind of like two main sides of what I like to think of as Lebanese food. I mean, many more than that. But you've got all the cold different dishes like the salads, the meze dishes, the tabules, the, the hummus. But then also the other side is all the hot dishes. There's a big tongue stew going, there's some hot vegetables going. So they go together. These are the dumplings, little bread dumplings. With, uh, <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Mm. They're like little bread dumplings. I believe filled with minced meat. And then more like bready rather than noodly. And they go along with this yogurt stew. <laughs> Yeah, 
One of my favorites, the stuffed grape leaves. Mm. Now she's preparing some fish, which is local trout. They're known for trout in West Becca. And they're gonna, she's marinating it in a mixture of, it's, it's a saucy marinade with, I believe, some yogurt, I believe, nuts, uh, spices, and, oh, tahini. There's tahini in there as well. All that meat's gonna be grilled on charcoal as well. Oh, that one looks so good. I think that's a type of mutabo with roasted eggplant with a lot of tahini with, we blended up some peppers. They are now putting out all the dishes. They open at 1 p.m. officially. Uh, so they're getting ready, putting the finishing touches on, getting all the dishes ready, putting out the stews over on this section of the buffet. What's cool is that the buffet is set up in the kitchen. That's one I can't wait to try, which is little kebabs in cherry sauce. You want, you want, she's asking if you want to just stay here and abandon your Okay, okay sure. Why did you make And then that's a pan of the beef tongues that are now sliced into pieces with, you can really smell the garlic in there. So I believe that means it's time to start on the buffet. After all of that anticipation, and we've actually been here for about three hours, waiting, smelling. This is a massive buffet. I'm gonna try to taste everything, every single dish that they have. One. Yes. Thank you. I barely even made it halfway through the hot food section before my plate was completely full. That's just like an entire plate of different meats. I got the uh, the kibbe, I got the, I went straight for that grilled trout and that type of sauce. You can see the, the pinkness from the, definitely from the sumac. Okay, sartén. Bon appétit. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I went straight for the trout. Really good. The marinade on there, the sauce is like a sour garlicky sumac. Zaktun. <laughs> oh, zaktun. Yeah. I got it mixed up with zakle. Zakle. Zaktun. That could be is stuffed oh. with labne, minced meat, nice. and walnuts. There we go. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> <laughs> After I finish this plate, I gotta try that kebab with cashews on top too. She caramelized the entire pan of little kebabs in a cherry sauce. Mm. Oh yeah. That's so good because you've got the fruity sweetness to contrast that saltiness of the meat. And then this one is the frite with meat. All oh, that meat is so tender. I think with lamb. Mm. What I love about frike is you can taste every individual grain, which has a little bit of a crunch to it. Yes. Cheers. Mm -hmm. What a for what a wonderful way to spend a Saturday. Relaxing, eating, all you can eat. Pop this little guy out, bloop. Oh, it's long, nice. Yeah, this is the poo, right? This bottom section. Mmm. Oh, those are really neutral tasting. Not even chewy at all. You taste the lemon, you taste the... They boiled it in a bunch of spices, like... There were some bay leaves, I think, some pepper, some lemon. Actually quite neutral tasting. 
Okay, I think that's it for this round. Yeah, once I finish with this plate, I'll have completed the hot foods. That is so rich with this like creamy yogurt meatiness. The vegetable one with the rice is called Mujia. Mujia. There's like two words, two ways to say it. Either Mluchia or Mnuchia. I don't know. Mnuchia. Mnuchia or yeah. Mnuchia. It's a type of, type of vegetable which has been stewed down. You eat it with rice and it's kind of soupy. There's chicken on top. And then she puts a, uh, like a vinegar onions on top plus fried bread. Yeah, this will be my first time to try this one. The leaves kind of remind me of grape leaves, but not quite as sour, not quite as strong. It's really good, really comforting. And then the other dish is shish bara, which are the little dumplings, um, bready dumplings in a yogurt thick sauce. So they go together. Mm. Oh, it has this like immediate sourness that might come from the the lemon juice or the yogurt on top. But like a burst of sourness from that sauce. Very nicely with it because cheese goes nicely with tomato. Next plate of food, I went for all the different salads. I did manage to fit a little bit. I, I, I was wise though, I chose just a small spoon of everything. That's a variety though, the different salads, the vegetables. Some tabbouleh with some of that fatouche all together. Mm. Okay, what I really want to try is this eggplant with tomatoes and, and lots of onions in there. Mm. It's stewed so cooked so well that everything just melts in your mouth. It has a slight cinnamon taste as well. And then this one is the cheese with the tomato jam. Mm. Oh yeah, that's awesome. The cheese is salty, the tomato jam. It is like a sugary tomato jam, so it is sweet and sour a little bit, contrasts. You're, it's one of those things you're not quite sure if it's savory or salty. We made it to the end, the finish line. This is the desserts. I'm not gonna try everything of the desserts, but a few strategic, I'm strategizing the best things, just a few of the best bites of dessert. Oh, yes. This is one of the kings of desserts. Let's do this. It is warm and gooey. This one really isn't that sweet. No, no. Mm. We're focusing on the cheese and the gooiness. The cream of all creams, he just doused it in honey. You can see that kind of cottage cheesy texture to it. No. It is really tasty. It's crumbly, and it's actually not sweet. The sweetness is only from the honey. That's good. Okay, and then finally to complete the meal after that dessert, and I'm gonna lean back for this one. The buffet is complete. You earned your coffee. Earned the coffee. I earned the, the recline. <laughs> you would not want to be sitting straight at this moment. After the meal, the entire restaurant is just packed now. People are getting full. Some people are falling asleep on the, on the lounge chairs. Other people are, have moved to the full reclining positions and are taking naps on the grass on those mats. <laughs> yes, after a buffet like that, you, you definitely understand why. You know, like lots of buffets, I'm not all that attracted to buffets because oftentimes the quality is compromised for the quantity. But this was like every dish tasted home cooked. It was home cooked. Every dish, well, you could taste the quality, the spices. The portion sizes were not that huge. They like kept replenishing the, the buffet. Overall, just a wonderful, wonderful Lebanese buffet experience. Finally, I just want to say a big thank you to USAID for funding, for sponsoring my trip to Lebanon. And that completes an amazing lunch. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.